Yeah. And the Lord should be king over the should be king over it's like it's all right. Zechariah um, 14 and 9. Uh -huh. And the Lord should be king over all the earth. And that day should there be one Lord. Right, because it's really one Lord. Even though you got all these people talking about oh, uh, they got the truth, this religion is right, that religion is right. At the end of the day, there's only gonna be one Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, it ain't it ain't gonna be all these different religions and truths. There's only gonna be one way. Now we both say that we have the truth. All right. But we but not only do we say it, we stand on the, the grounds that we will prove it. That's why when you ask me these questions, and we gonna get to all these. We got scriptures lined up, but we gonna answer you according to the scriptures, not according to okay. our own heart. Go ahead. In His name, one. In His name, one. So even though they have all these different titles and everything like that. Just like you, people, because your name might be uh, Matthew, for example. But maybe in, in, in another, if I say Mateo, you might, like, oh, this nigga ain't talking to me. But now Mateo, that's how you would say Matthew is in another, in in another language. Okay. So, so, so that's why it's important. That's why the, the point the brother was getting, which is good though, that you have some knowledge. You said Yahweh, that was the spirit. Mm -hmm. But now. Who got the scripture you had, bro? That, that was the main point on that, bro. Oh, I got the chariots, and then yeah, uh, the chariots. You got, you got, yeah. you got the scripture you had about the one chariots. Kind. Yeah, kind. This is uh, Psalms one hundred four and three. Who uh, layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon Wait, the? Well, that, that's that, that's heavy. It said, read that again. Kind. Who layeth the beams of of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Yeah, I, I, I understand that too. I got that too. Right, that, that's heavy, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, I, I mean, I can even go even further. I mean, I can tell you where where uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Elijah. Elijah showed, you know, okay, you know, uh, chariots in the sky to show another guy what he couldn't see because he was scared. Exactly. I can understand so, that. So that's good. So, but so I got can. to get this thing right, man, because if he telling people, hey, I'm going today and y'all gonna see me, uh -huh. I got to get that. You know, right, I need so to get on that right I'm, there. Uh, yeah. Okay, get that. Okay. Right, right. You, 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 okay. You, 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 give me Thessalonians first. first Hold off. that. All right. Second yeah, Thessalonians. You got Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Two and three. Because yeah, I'm under the impression that you know he died, he rose, he left, he's coming back. But he's right. saying he, you know, there's everybody gonna see him come in the clouds at right. that time. So I need to get some clarification uh -huh. on that. Yep. Uh, reincarnation, right? Not reincarnation, but what I'm saying is like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, that, brother, you know, go. it's just like me telling you, hey man, you're gonna see me come back. Okay. Hey, give me you. Acts, give me Acts uh, 1 and 6. You got, you got the point to show you. 1 and right? 6? Okay. Acts 1 and 6. Huh. Bring that out real quick. Then we're gonna get that's going. Who got Acts? Oh, I got it. Acts yeah. 1 and 6. I'm not sure Acts, if this is one, one of the scriptures you read, but. You know, this is the script that's coming to mind as you're telling me that. This is Acts 1 and 6. He said, when they, when they therefore were come together. Right, and then you know this is after the Lord, when he came, when he was crucified, went back to the Father, and then he came back and was seen amongst his disciples. Right. They asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the, again the kingdom of Israel? Right, they, they said, Lord, wilt thou now at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Because back then, they, they were looking at the prophecy as it was going to happen in that time. Uh -huh. So that's why they asked him when they seen him. Look, without See, that's why I'm having a problem. Right, man. right. See, this, this is why I'm having a problem. Right, right. Because he's saying, I'm going to do it uh -huh. while y'all here. Now he's saying, I'm going to do it later on. No, 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 no. no, no, no. But if you turn back into the uh, New Testament, that's exactly no, what he's saying. No, we're in the New Testament, bro. Okay, but I'm saying. You got to show, I, you got to pinpoint that verse. If, if it's another verse that you're talking about. Right. But, but, but just. Just uh, bear with us. It's, it's but do you all know what verse I'm talking about? I, I, let's see if this. I think because he was telling us about. He was also telling us about. You know the the, the temple is going to be torn down. That's Matthew 24. 24. Okay, that's somewhere. That's Matthew 24. It's somewhere in there. It's somewhere in there. Y'all right, well, we, have it with the Bible. That's Matthew 24. Somewhere in there, so, he's so telling we, people, we "I'm coming too. back, and y'all gonna see me come back." All right, but now somebody got to know where that is. Okay, nah, that's nah. Matthew 24. Okay. All right, but go ahead, brother. All right. Um, he said, uh, uh, verse seven. Uh -huh. He said, he said unto him, he said unto them, it is not for it is not for you to know listen, the time. Listen. It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father hath put in His own power. Right. So He ain't tell them that 
I'm coming back in your time. time. He ain't he ain't say he wasn't or he didn't tell him. He said it's not. Read that again. Go ahead. He That's said more confused. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That makes it more. I know, I know but, you but, at. but be patient. Know, we gonna get there. Right. You gotta have patience in time. this thing. Time. You know or else you're gonna mess yourself yeah, up, brother. Yeah. Go ahead. It is not for you, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the father has put in his son, in his own hand, right. his own because, powers. Because right. when you go back to that, that same scripture that we're about the temple and everything in Matthew 24, he said that he said day and that hour, no, that day and that hour no, no, no man. man. Say the he didn't, he didn't, the Lord don't even know. That's only the most, he, that's what he told his disciples in Matthew 24. No, and but we he told his disciples that y'all was gonna see me come back. Exactly what scripture you're talking about, but y'all got to know what I'm talking no. about. I ain't that give me something for uh, Give me that. Uh, yeah. 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 You gotta, you gotta bring us. Yeah. You uh, see yeah. the Son of Man coming in this coming cloud in the cloud. Is that what you're talking about? Or something like that. Yes, in the New Testament. Oh, when he yeah. told him some, some of y'all will not die. Some of y'all standing here will not die. die. Well, yeah. Some of y'all standing here will not <laughs> die yeah. until y'all. I don't know exactly yeah. where it is, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it says that, right? Hold on, 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 Shemai, Shemai. Brother, I understand you you eager and everything, but you gotta be patient. We gonna trust me. We gonna we we got you. Okay. We got you. But but when you jump on around and everything, sometimes we gotta go to the scripture say what? How's the Bible read? Line up, line up, line up, line up. Right. So we, we got okay. we gotta. I mean, it might seem like we jumping around, but to get the understanding, the, the build up, the understanding, and everything, to get the full understanding, we gotta hit these points because right. a lot of people would think the same thing. If you don't understand spiritually that the Lord wasn't talking about that time, so we got to build it up because what you quoted is two different, two different things. I got it. Exactly what but, but we gonna, okay. but we gonna get yeah, that. Yeah, read that then. But, but, give me but, the answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on brother. On, we, we gonna do it in you order. Gotta, you gotta okay. be patient, yeah. brother. We deal with order out here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. So I want you to finish reading what you read. Okay. All right. He said, um, I'm gonna start again, verse seven. And he said to them, It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father had put in his own power. Right, now that's straight up what the Lord told his disciples. Huh. All right, he says, not for you to know the time nor the season. What time or season he's talking about? When the Lord was coming back to restore the kingdom of Israel. That's right. But, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. But you gonna receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Huh. And that's where you get the uh, Pentecost from, right? That's right. Uh -huh. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Ju and Judea, and in Samaria, right? And, to, and that happened back then with the disciples, and it's happening again now. Go ahead. And unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Uh huh. Go ahead. And when he has, and he, it's like it. And when he has, had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in the cloud and received him out of their sights. Just like the same thing what you said about Elijah. Right. While he was speaking to him, he was what? He was beamed up in the, right. in, into the chariot, or he was abducted, or whatever words you want to use. Right. Let me say this. Okay, they looking at him go away, right? Right. They're not weird. seeing him come back, right? Okay, just make sure we understand. No, 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 not, not, yeah. not yet. Right, not yet. right. Yet. Yep, yep. Go ahead. All right. It said, um, verse 10, and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, they as, looked up as he was being beat up, like you said, yep. Go as ahead. he went up, behold, two men stood by them in a white apparel. Right, what? two men stood by him in white apparel. These two men were what? They were, they were angels, right? Yeah, they were watching them go up. What? Which also, which right. also said, ye men of, of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This, name, this same <laughs> Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Right, so he he, the angel told him the same way you seen him just now be uh, abducted into to the heaven. It's the same way he's gonna come back. That's, right. that's why when we went to Revelations 1 and 7, when he said, so, Look, all I, now read that 1 and 7 real quick. All right, uh, this is Revelations 1 and 7. Yep. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Huh. Right, now this was 2,000 years from the date where we at right now. But that's why he told him, every, you're gonna see him, because it said, all eyes shall see him. Now, give me Thessalonians though. Uh -huh. Two, um, seven and eight. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who is now led it will let. Right, read, 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 read a little louder, bro. Okay. For the mystery of iniquity. Oh, start at five. Okay. Remember ye not 
that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Uh -huh. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. That he might be revealed in his time, glad. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Right, now jump to the third verse. Let, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. That day shall not come, meaning what? The day of the Lord. That day shall not come except there be a falling, falling away first. The falling away. People leaving the faith. Well, no, not, 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 not just that. The falling away was what? When he told them, Days gonna come when you're gonna have to flee into the mountains when they right. proceed to Jerusalem. That's right. Remember, the Lord told them that. Now we're gonna go, we gonna go to Matthew, Matthew 24. 24. Because oh. remember, they were all looking and thinking that it was gonna happen right then in, in their time. Just like they see him come, they thought they were gonna see him go. But that's what Paul was bringing to understand and saying, look, that day ain't gonna come unless they come a falling away first. Because why? The Lord, Yahweh Shai, he prophesied to them that look, you're gonna be moved out, you're gonna be moved out of this land, man. The, the time's gonna come. Now, who got Matthew 24? I got, it. I got it. And then hold the other scripture that, the one that he said. And we're going to hit that right after. 24, 26, 15. Yeah. All right, Matthew 24. Well, you, can, you can start at the first verse and then jump back down. Come on, come on. All right, Matthew 24 and 1. Uh-huh. And Yahweh, and Jesus went, went out. Right, which is which is Yahweh's shine in the Hebrew. Go ahead. And departed from the temple. Mm -hmm. And his disciples came to him mm -hmm. for, for to show him the building of the temple. And Yahweh, and Jesus said unto them, See ye not all things, not all these things. Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Right. And as the, and as he sat upon the mountain of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us when these things, when these things be, and what shall the uh, signs of thy coming, and the end of the world. Right, so the, you know, we all know that. The disciples said, what's going to be the sign of the end of the world? Go ahead. And, you, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Right. And ye shall hear the wars and rumors of wars. Right, so he's giving them all the signs of the time, so to speak. Wars and rumors of wars. Go ahead. Right. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, for, but the end is not yet. For, now, but now, just jump down, jump 15. down now. Okay. Let's get to the, the, the point. Yeah. All right. He said, uh, remember, he's, the other part, I'm not sure if it was right there. 15, he, said right. Three, he said three days, uh, three days, and, and I should rebuild this temple, right? Kind of, kind of. But now the day, a day with the Lord is what? A thousand years. A thousand years. Okay, so that's when you're talking spiritually. Because it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna happen that time back then, obviously now. Okay, else it would have happened back then. We, we're here in this time, in the present, 2,000 years afterwards. So obviously it didn't happen then. The Lord didn't lie. He didn't say that he was going to come then and didn't come then. He never said that. Right. You so, see? That, I mean, that's the point. That, that's, that's the point I want to get. We're going to get down the scripture you said okay. too. That's right. the point I want you to understand. Well, we're go gonna, ahead. We're going to start at um, yep. 16. Yep. He said, all right, verse 16. Then let them which be in Judea flee unto the mountains. Right, Let, so if, if the Lord was telling them that he was gonna come back then, why would he tell them to look, go flee in the mountains or whatever? Because he knew that he wasn't coming in that time. He knew that first, like Paul said, a fallen, fallen had away. To come, a fallen away had to come first. Come. We had to be destroyed. And then when you read back on the Thessalonians, he says, go back to Thessalonians. I'm sorry, brother. But hold on, let me say this. But when he telling us to flee into the mountains, ain't uh -huh. that when the Antichrist is supposed to step into the temple? That's when we're supposed to flee? Well, no, the Antichrist, right? the Antichrist what does Antichrist I mean? Antichrist when, mean? When, what does Antichrist mean, bro? Uh, I guess it's to step, you know. An, I, anti, if you anti, anti something, you're that against something. That means I don't, right. You're right, against something. Right. And it's not one, like they teach in the churches, or it's an Antichrist that's going to come and show with 666 or other ways they try to remix that. The scriptures tell you that there's many anti anything that's against what the Lord stood for is the Antichrist. But at, the, at this time and point right now, he's uh -huh. talking about. No, that's not the, what he's talking about, brother. He's talking about the uh, what do they call it abomination of desolation. Right. They're talking about him. That's when he's supposed to flee to the mountains. No, no, 
know, brother, what, what that's going into. Bro, we gonna get into it. Okay. We gonna get into it, bro. I know that you read things and everything, but, but we, you know, we yeah, I mean, well, I'm not as, I'm probably not, not as good as cool. you are, but, but I'm cool. trying to get this answer. But I can tell, but I can tell. right here. I can tell. Just like here. I can tell. I can't move until somebody, I can tell that you studied, though. That's right, You understand what I'm saying? I can tell that you studied. Quoting scripture, so that, that yeah. lets me know that. Now back to where you left off with Thessalonians, brother. Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, uh -huh. for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, uh -huh. and that man, and that man, son of hold on, I'm tradition kidding. should be right. Except yep. there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right. Now the man, the man of sin, uh, the son of perdition, is the antichrist, right? Well, right. Well, yeah, but it's not one man. It's not okay, one well, man. Any, hold, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you run, brother. All right. What does first of all, what does perdition mean? Uh, you, you gotta know. And the reason why I'm not trying uh, to put you on the spot. I'm just trying to get you to think because you got to understand the meaning of words. A lot of time people see words and, and, and they... Well, whatever it is, it's, it, it's probably something not, against God. I'm pretty sure the word perdition, when it's it, spoken it, in that way, that it, it is not for God. Well, it has to be against God. Well, so well, that would somewhat well, be But you got to be sure, though, brother. You, gotta, you can't, like, that be somewhat it. of an antichrist, a, a son of position? Would that son, be son of, of, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break it down to you. You go back and look it up yourself. Don't even take my word for it. Okay, well, just but tell me I, what I'm about to tell brother, you. I don't know. I, 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 you must really want this answer. You I really do, and I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to, I'm getting anxious. Yeah, but you got to, I need somebody to tell you, oh, this is what it means right here. Brother, brother, brother. Brother, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't work that way, bro. I mean, I mean, I need, I need, I need, I need it's not to patience come to me just like I explained to you, thou shalt not kill, it, 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 even if I had to tell you, thou hey, shalt not murder. Hey, is, is patience a virtue or what, brother? Okay. All right. Say yeah. no more. But I want to say, say my no more. peace, no, 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 brother, listen, you. If you so you're saying if, I should if, hold my peace and let you start? Exactly. Oh, that and then, and then, and then, thou say. Go ahead. Verse four, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called right now you see and that's why i have backtracked because we lose the point this is talking about who again the son of perdition now perdition means destruction when you look it up that's what it means the son of destruction and it's talking about the devil or the anti you want to say the anti-christ a bad guy okay? a polyon no or, or polyon means destruction okay in the greek tongue all right going into revelations that's that's something else deep brother but anyway read on uh, who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called the most high. Right, so it's telling you about the son of perdition. Yeah. It said he, go ahead, brother. Or that is worship. No, no, read it, read that part. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called. Right, now, so who's the one that, it, it, uh, uh, read it again, Slack. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called. Who's doing that? Who's the exalting himself? Uh, Daniel was talking about. The little horn, ain't that right? No, no, it ain't that, not the little horn. But who is this guy? Who is this right. guy? Okay, <laughs> hold on, you know brother. If we got more than one. Hold on, brother. Okay. Hold on, brother. It's giving you the clue of who he is. It's saying that he exhorted himself above all that's called the most high. Which season boys you have? We got to yeah, one of them. They got him. Okay. Yeah. Who, who, what, what this not? Now, you know in the Bible, God don't look like this. Mm -hmm. The son don't look like this, right? They tell you he has what, woolly head? I'm sure you read that. Yeah. And you know that this is blasphemy because why? This is leprosy when you read back in the law. So mm -hmm. by them setting this guy up and deceiving the whole world, that's him. That's one way of him exalting himself and opposing. You got some rappers on the other side of that. Uh, I think it might be. Uh, uh, no. I think that's the rapper. Chris Rappers on this side. No, no, no it's not the same. Y'all got some rappers on this side. No, I don't think so. But, but either way, by you mentioning the rappers, Christian, you know. About you know about Serapis Christie and you know about Chesra Bourget, right? Mm -hmm. So now, go ahead, read on. Uh, uh, who opposed him and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that right by them, by them passing gay laws, gay marriages. Who's behind that? The so-called white man. So in essence, to, to get to cut to the chase, the son of perdition that is talking about here is a so-called white man because he's the main one that exalted himself against the Most High. He painted the, the picture, uh, uh, the hand of God as himself. He put himself, he took down uh, all the dark images of the Lord, of the saints. Okay, they did, they used iconoclism and then such and so forth and so on to, to the icons and relics. Okay, he's the one that's been doing that. He's over there in Israel 
these in the land establishing what wickedness, man. They got uh, faggots running around rampant. So these are one that's responsible for this. Go ahead, read on. Okay. Uh, so that as um, called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High. So he as the Most High sitteth in the temple as the Most High. All right, go ahead. Showing himself that he is the Most High. Showing himself that he is the Most High. So there's only one person that's doing that. It's clear, go ahead. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Uh -huh. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. That he might be revealed in his time because guess what? It wasn't the time back then. They didn't have the information, even though they knew that the Roman Empire, which was the empire, which today is the modern day Roman Empire anyway, if you want to go, if you go deep into it. <laughs> even though they were doing wickedness back then, they didn't know that the white, so-called white man was the devil. Now we know that because why? We had the, the very end of this thing and the Lord revealed the understanding of, of these scriptures.